What's going on, everybody? Welcome into another edition of Josh's Corner. I'm Josh Jennings, and I'm here with Roger State women's soccer coach Chris Jones. And Chris, just uh, what's your favorite part about being the women's head coach at Roger State University? I think just the environment. You know, everybody that I get to work with every day, you know, <clears throat> my staff, uh, everybody that's in the building with me, you know, Coach Kennedy, Coach Larkin, uh, just everybody, really. It's just awesome part place to be. Yep, you know, what's your thoughts on going into the 2024 season? A lot of optimism. You know, we're, we're only six days into our, our season right now with preseason, and, you know, the girls are working really hard. There's a lot of buzz around us right now uh, internally, and we've got a, a large group, but a, a great group of girls right now, and there's a lot of optimism from not only the players, but the coaching staff as well. Yep, um, you know, Tiffany Britton, an absolute stud in the goal in the goalie box, and I believe she made 97 saves last year, but just what do you expect from her this year? Yeah, somewhat of the same. Hopefully, she doesn't have to make that many saves, but uh, you <laughs> yeah. know, somewhat of the same. You know, since I've been here, she she's grown a lot, and she's she's uh, she's really really come into her own. And you know, this being her last season, she uh, she's motivated um, to keep the ball out of the back of the net and, and and really connect us with the rest of the group. Coach, you know, you return a lot of really good players. You know, some players I think of, you know, Morgan Martucci, Zoe Johnston, Delana King, Alex Torado, Amarias Jesso. But just, you know, what's your thoughts on these girls, you know, coming together for the 2024 season? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, we returned uh, a lot of them from the fall and even the spring season. Uh, so we had a really, really good spring yeah. that we came together a lot as a group. And, you know, they're they're back, you know, ready to get to work and, you know, boots on the ground, uh, working really hard and, and getting to, yeah. basically, it's kind of like riding a bike, right? You you went away for the summer for two and a half months, you're back, you still got to get used to each other, but it's not taking as long this year, which is nice. Yeah. And you have an unbelievable coaching staff too, you know, Jordan Watson and Maggie Brown, both RSU alums, so, you know, they're just so much fun to be around on and off the soccer field, but just, uh, you know, what's your thoughts on those two coaches in particular? I wouldn't say fun. All the time. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I've, I've been blessed with my coaching staff. You know, obviously, Jordan working on the men's side for, for a season and, and deciding to come across the hallway and, and be a part of my coaching staff is, has, been a, has been a godsend, really. Uh, him and I are, are, you know, yin and yang, and uh, he pushes me as much as I push him. Um, and we've been blessed to have Maggie for the last year and a half, yeah. you know, while she completes her master's degree. And, you know, she gives us a different insight that, you know, kind of puts you in a, in a player perspective, you know, and, and kind of gives gives us that side of things. It's It's been really good, uh, really, really good. I'm not the greatest with social media, so that's one thing that they really bring to the table um, and, and kind of push our program in the limelight with that side of things, which is really, really good. And, and I, it's been a blessing to have both of them on the coaching staff. Yep. Uh, you know, and it seems like, you know, going into your third year, your energy just keeps improving, improving and getting better. But, you know, you guys playing, I believe, what I believe is the toughest conference in Division Two in the MIAA. But, um, you know, barely missed out last year. But how could you guys make the tournament this year? <sighs> One more games <laughs> down to brass tacks. You know, it's yeah. it is tough, you know, day in and day out. It's it, it's a grind, you know, in this conference. But we're blessed to be in this conference. I was actually speaking with Coach Kennedy earlier, just, you know, some days I love it, some days I hate it. Um, but, you know, when I say hate it, you love to hate it just because it's so competitive. We don't send five teams to the national tournament every year, you know, with, without a reason. So uh, it's fun to be a part of. It's a tough gauntlet to get through. So hopefully we can finally break through this year. Uh, I think we have the team to do so. But, you know, once the ball rolls, see what happens. Yep. Um, you know, in Roger State is a Division Two institution. And as you know, as a college coach, you know, athletics are changing almost every day, it seems like. And, you know, Seems like there's a lot wrong with our sport, but you know, what do you think is working well for your sport in particular in Division Two? Uh, just the opportunity to do both, right? Uh, be a student athlete, you know, and get that experience to do both, and not feel the pressure from one side or the other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the way the athletics is going right now, there's a lot of pressure to win. There's a lot of pressure to succeed on the field. And as much as we want to succeed on the field, we have to succeed in the classroom, yep. right? We're wanting to develop good human beings, first and foremost. And there's a term student athlete, right? They have to get a good degree. And so I think the Division II model is a great setup for that, to be able to do both and have fun while doing it, yep. right? You're not bogged down by all of these things that you have to do day in and day out. So I really love the Division II model. That's why I came back to Division II. Um, 
and I enjoy it every single day. Yep. Um, you guys start the season on the road at UT Tyler, um, and then <clears> on <throat> Thursday, September 5th, and then you'll return home on Sunday, September 8th at noon um, against Augustana. But just uh, well, how can you guys get the season started on the right foot? Yeah, UT Tyler is always a tough game. They're a scrappy team. You know, we've tied them. We tied them last year. We lost to them 2-1 to one the year before. Uh, Tyler's a tough place to play. They're a tough, scrappy team. So that's going to give us a good test. And then Augustana, right, top, ten, top 20 in the country last year, you know, went to the national tournament. So for us, it's a good test early on. We had a really good showing last year against them up there in, in uh, Sioux Falls. Now they get to experience the heat a little bit and, and, and come to Clemmer, yeah. Oklahoma. Yep. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. We can't wait to cover you guys and cheer you guys on this fall. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.